we are back down on the farm in Iowa working on uh, this Riverstone Legacy. If you want to see everything we did on that, check out the video from last year. But we uh, added 3,200 watts of solar up from the 1,200 we had before. And uh, inside here, we added these controllers. Kind of had to do a little bit of a retrofit here, so um, not quite as clean as we typically like things, but just checking the connections here. We are pushing, uh, I think, 160 amps, 170 amps DC into the system here. And again, this is what we got going on here. Check that out. A lot of blue stuff in here, so. Yep, and uh, it's working good for him. So here's the solar. Uh, originally there was, oh yeah, cut my finger. Uh, originally there was six panels up here. These six, then we added 10 more for I believe we are at 3,200 watts up here. Not too bad, I'm a little jealous. I think they beat me right now. <clears throat> So we went from a 3P, 3P configuration, and actually there was the stock ones uh, on the front. We took those off as well. Uh, those were in a 3P configuration. Uh, right now we're not even using that old controller anymore. We are, as you saw, we are upgrading the charge controllers, and we're going to do a uh, <clears throat> 4S, 2P configuration. So that means panel one, two, three, and we're going back over here, four, that's one string, then one, two, three, and then four. And those all hook together to make, uh, and that's all going to go to one controller. And then uh, over here, it starts uh, that one on the end, one, and over there, two, three, four, and then we go one, two, back over the middle, three, four. And that one's going to the other controller. And the nice thing is, when we're upwards of 200 volts, we can still use the same 10 gauge wires. And you can see where we, we took them off the old uh, brackets and we filled them with some die core. So no, nothing's gonna leak here. It was nice to also get confirmation that our uh, sec securing method worked really well because we had to take the the screws out of this edge and lift up the panels to reconfigure just on that one side. We didn't have to take off the other side. But there was no evidence of water intrusion. And like, uh, like we said earlier, that this was on the keys for about a month this summer, or not this summer, this winter. And also in Oregon and it's definitely put some miles on it and nothing goes anywhere. Hey, look at that sticker. Almost forgot about this. Well, we can't really see it in there. We also added an additional uh, four Battleborn batteries, which brings them up to 12, 12 Battleborn batteries in there. They got eight down there and four in the other battery compartment. Again, watch the other video. But the thing people ask sometimes is, why would you spend all this money on this? Well, um, this customer has a great example, which is they spent a summer, or sorry, a winter in the Keys, Florida Keys, and the campgrounds down there are sometimes thousands a month. They said almost $6,000 for a month. Well, if you're a vet, not an animal vet, but a army or military vet you can stay on the on the bases down there and it's only a couple hundred bucks uh for the month it sounded like but you got a boondock so it can definitely save you money but it's also for the experience they pretty much have uh the full 50 amp experience uh living on solar and battery wherever they go so if you uh want an upgrade to your system uh, you want a system installed on yours, give us a call, shoot us an email, 